How's everyone doing? It is Wednesday and it is Tanya coming to you live from Pennsylvania. I want to know where are my busy moms at? Where are my moms that are busy with kids with sports? If that is you, let me know in the comments. Drop mom. If you are watching the live and you are seeing that red little button up there that says live, you are watching me live, drop a one. If you are watching the replay, make sure you drop a two or hashtag replay. If you are new to me and you've never seen me live before, drop new. It is nice to meet you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hopping on. Facebook does not tell me that you're on unless you drop hi in the comments. Let me know where you're coming in from. I'm in Pennsylvania. I thought I'd hop on here real quick and um, I'm just curling my hair, getting ready. I, I realized it was warm out earlier this morning, but I didn't realize how warm it was going to get. If it is warm by you, drop warm in the comments and let me know how warm it is by you and let me know where you are coming in from. Yes, this is the infamous curling iron that I get ready with and I'm just, I haven't really done my hair today because I've been working all day. After I came home from the gym, I did a little work. I had some working zooms and then I took a shower and I just let it dry naturally. But I know a couple people are hopping on. Just say hi. Just say hi. So what I want to discuss is busy moms and I got some little hacks for you. So if you're looking for busy mom hacks, drop hacks in the comment and um, I can help you get your schedule in order for those busy moms. I have moms that, I have hacks for moms with kids that don't really have sports but just they're busy and then I have hacks for moms with sports. If you have a kid in sports, drop sports in the comments. I want to know who you are. Hi, Lenina. That's the only person that it says it's one here because it just scrolled through. Thank you for watching. Thank you for having me on. So, busy moms, make sure you prioritize your task. Prioritizing your task of what you need to do. Like, set it a schedule. Like, make a list. I do this all the time. I make a to-do list for my groceries. I make a to-do list for everything. If I, we, we went camping, I had a to-do list, I had a list, I had a list for everything. Everything that needed to be in the camper, everything that needed to be packed in my bags, everything that needed to be outside for the camper, everything that needed to go on the trip to um, Lancaster, everything. If you like camping, drop camping in the comments. I want to know who, where my campers are, my fellow campers. And where do you go camping? I need some new spots this year. That is my goal. That is my goal. So that's number one. Set realistic goals. Moms, moms, where are you? Set realistic goals. That schedule, you only have 24 hours in a day. Utilize that schedule. Set realistic goals and by setting goals, your schedule will literally be back to back and able to accommodate what you need to get done for that day. The other thing, take a break. You are only one person. I get it. I have twins. I have twins. They are 14 years old now, and I'm going to get into the sports part of this ordeal. They are 14 years old now. They will tire you out. They will tire you out. Take a break. Take a break. It will reduce your stress. The other thing is ask for help. The twins have been unloading and loading. Well, I guess unloading. They were a little disgusted by loading. And then I had to get them to load them because they needed to load them. So I would have them unload the dishes and if they could reach where the dishes went, now mind you, they were like seven years old, six, seven years old, and they were doing this. They would put them away. Little things like that, let them do that kind of stuff. Take a break for yourself. Um, the twins do their own laundry now. They've been doing their own laundry for the past probably two years. I literally taught them how to do the laundry. They would ask me questions here and there for certain things or whatever, but 
majority of the time it's the same thing you do the same thing with the laundry so reduce your stress take a break ask for help ask them to vacuum the floor ask them to sweep ask them to dust ask them to they do the trash i never touch the trash they do the trash every single week it's not even a question they already know well our trash schedule did change but they already know that they have to do the trash every tuesday night they did it last night and what happens today's wednesday guess what happened the trash men come so since they came the garbage men came the trash cans need to be brought back down they already know as soon as they get home from school those trash cans better be back um by the house um when they get off the bus um the other thing is simplify your routine so don't try to make it too complicated try to kill bir two birds with one stone i always try to do that because it makes it so much easier so much easier like for instance i'll give you an example the twins work now so since they work the one twin wanted to go to work early and i said sure you can go to work early but your brother has to go to work early too. Well, brother didn't want to go. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm busy. Um, you can ride your bike there, that's a possibility, or you can just both go to work at the same time. Or you can convince your brother to go to work. It's that simple. Hi George, thank you for hopping on, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching me. If you are hopping on, make sure you say hi, drop a one, let me know where you're coming in from. I'm in Pennsylvania, about an hour north of Philadelphia. Um, I am just getting ready, doing my hair, um, and I just wanted to come on here real quick to talk to you busy moms about how to prioritize and how to not to be so overstressed about being a busy mom. I get it. I have twins. I get it. So, the other thing is, meal plan i just did a whole thing yesterday whole thing live about meal planning it is so simple to meal plan do it it will batch things i make chicken and i make chicken i and i make like three pounds of chicken and i take that chicken and you know what i do i batch it i batch it and i make several different recipes I do that with ground turkey. I don't usually eat ground beef, but if you eat ground beef, it's whatever you prefer. I do that with ground, ground meat. I batch it. I make several meals in that, a couple of meals for um, my family. So I don't have to make, and then I put them in different containers. So if the twins are hungry, they know, hey, that's um, the chicken Alfredo that my mom made. I'm just gonna heat that up real quick. I heat up a por I put in a portion, so when it's done, I make a big portion for the whole entire family to have one or two meals, and then when it's done, I just put it in a container so they could just pop it in the microwave and that's it. So I don't have to worry about. Hello from Atlanta, thank you for hopping on live. Um, so they don't have to, um, they don't have to worry about um, not being able to Oh, how much should I put in? Or how long is this gonna take for the whole container? That kind of thing. I don't have to worry about any of that. It's already ready. I meal plan and prep all the time. And listen, we're busy. We're busy, we're busy, we're busy. But one thing, be present with your children. Be present. If you are able to do all these tasks, all these things that I'm, um, these tips and hints, in um, hacks that I'm giving you. If you're able to do that, there should be no reason for you not to be present. Be present. Cherish the moments. Cherish the memories. Cherish everything that you are doing with your children. And you'll be able to. And you won't be overwhelmed and stressed because you'll utilize these ideas that I'm giving you to help you in your daily routine. And do this daily. Don't just do it once or twice a week. Do it every day and you'll see how easy all the tasks and all the things that you have to do in one day come easy, come natural. They just come natural. Um, now, where's my sports moms? Anybody drop sports in the comments? Where is my sports moms? I want to know who is my sports moms? Where is my sports moms? You have to plan ahead. Jalen had a tournament. It was about 
almost an hour away and I didn't know how long it was. I didn't know how long it was. It was his first one and I was like, I don't know what this is going to be like. So I made sure I had an extra keto up. I had my shake up that I did um, that I brought with me. I actually brought it with me and I shook it up in the truck. I did that. Um, let's see. I packed snacks. I packed um, extra waters for Jalen. I packed um, extra pair of clothes because it was raining. Um, and I got soaked and showed to Jalen. Extra shoes. Um, I also wore my rain boots. Um, extra umbrella in case one broke. Just those little things. I probably go extra and over beyond that I need to. You don't have to do that. But definitely pack like extra like snacks and stuff like that because you if you're on a health journey and you want to stay healthy the one way to stay healthy is make sure that you're prepared you're prepared that you don't have to go into wawa and pick up something that's going to be bad for you because the last thing you want to do is grab something that's bad for you so definitely pack for those long drives um communication so, Jalen isn't a good communicator. Even though he's 14 years old, I have had to tell him several times to ask his coach. You know, they change the practices. Is this what the practices are going to be? My hair is really coming out really nice curls today. I didn't think it would because it's very um, warm outside and my hair is very, very soft because I didn't blow dry. It's very, very soft. So I wasn't sure if it was going to come out like that. But back to what I was saying. So communicate with the coach. Make sure you communicate with the coach so you guys are all on the same page, that kind of thing. Definitely do that, especially with kids, especially the young ones. And sometimes they still don't communicate. So you may have to ask the coach a couple of times before you get the right and correct answer. Um, oh, equipment. So Jalen, he has lacrosse. So he has knee pads, he has shoulder pads, he has um, his shoes, he has um, his stick. His stick doesn't fit in his bag. So I bought him this big bag that holds all of his stuff that he has to put on. Because it takes him like 10 minutes to get dressed. Excuse me. Um, so since the fact that he has to do that, I have him put everything in the bag. So, busy moms, make sure... You buy a bag, a sports bag, to put all their equipment in and just keep it organized. Whenever they're done taking it off, put it in there. Jerseys, I mean, we got to wash them. I mean, yeah, whatever. That's the only thing that we have to make sure that I have to keep track of is his jersey. But it's simple. It's really that simple. This little piece needs done again. Um, and again, if, if you guys are you know, being prepared and you're able to, you know, get there on time and stuff like that, then you can be present. Cherish the moments of watching them play. Cherish the moments of being present there because, you know, they grow up fast and, you know, you're not going to be able to see them play um, when they're like, unless they're, I guess, unless they're professional or and they're in like the NFL or something. You only get to see them play unless they're in high school or college. And then that's it. Cherish these moments, I'm telling you. It, it goes by so fast. I can't believe the twins are 14. They're going to be in the high school next year. And um, our little athletes are our babies. But they grew up so fast. You have to you have to definitely, definitely cherish the moments. And, and um, that's the only way that we're able to get through this kind of um, busy lifestyle that we live. I would love to simplify my life. If you want to simplify your life, drop simple in the comments. That's me. I tell my husband all the time, I want to simplify my life. I just want to, I, I don't know, I might just pack six bags and go to the beach. Not in this country. At least not right now. But I appreciate you. I hope my hacks and my tips and my busy moms um helped you out. But I thank you. I appreciate you for coming on here. 
My name is Tanya and make sure you hit this follow, the follow button. Make sure you share this out to all the busy moms out there because they need this information just as much as you do. Thank you and I will see you soon. Bye.